What's up guys, Dustin McDangle's back here with another video and this is the NHL Be A Pro series with Dustin McDangle as we are now on episode 21 as we are getting closer to the end of the season. It is a race and battle here for sort of top points in the NHL as well as playoff positioning but before we even get into this video, be sure to drop a like on it if you guys have been enjoying this series. And also, if you aren't subscribed to the channel already, be sure to do so so you don't miss out on any future content, guys. But without further ado, we're going to start off this episode with an away game at the Toronto Maple Leafs and hopefully come out of there with two points. Here we are, guys, away from home. Big game here against the Maple Leafs as we are pretty much almost tied here with points in the Eastern Conference as Abinajad is going to win that first draw on the day as he gets by one. Oh my goodness, what a way to start off the game. We didn't even do anything. Zabinajad, Truba, and Panarin start off extremely fast here. Just 37 seconds here into the game. Tic-tac-toe, Panarin's there, and he beats, I believe that's Anderson glove side high on the day. And we are up 1-0 here early in this game on the Toronto Maple Leafs away from home. Nylander was all over us. Dustin, we're, we're going to try and get by Morgan Riley, and we're able to do so. We send Jake Muzzin down to the ice. Oh, man, this is there's some big hits being thrown here in this game early. And Panarin, he's not going to move the puck to Dustin. Zabinijad will find us. We'll hit the Spinorama. We're tripped up on the play. Dustin looking for that back, but unable to connect. Up to nothing here on the Maple Leafs as we hop out here on the back check. Petrangelo able to turn that puck over as we work our way into the zone. Dustin with a chance here. We're going to spin off. No one's open. We're going to take the shot on target. Zabinijad goes for the block on the play, and we're trying to dig this puck out. Unable to do so is Dermot with it. Trying to find a way past one. Unable to do so. Panarin, who looks for Dustin, and that is actually picked off as Petrangelo with it. He's going to find Dustin. Dustin, we're going to buzz into the zone here. Trying to get by one. We get past one defender. We're going to go short side on the goaltender, and he's able to make the glove save on the play. We were looking for a hit on him there. Unable to find anything. Muzzin, ooh, he gets the shot through. I thought we were going to be able to block that there, but... Unable to do so as, holy smokes, Jake Muzzin absolutely lays out Zabinijad. And we're going to drop the mitts here with Jake Muzzin. As we're going to spam this B button. We knock his bucket off. Tries to go for the uppercut. And we're going to take him down. We're going to take him down easily here on the fight. Obviously, don't want to fight that much. But when you're one of your top players, one of your leaders is knocked down to the ice, you got to step up, drop the mitts, and... Uh, you, you know, show them that we mean business. We can't just let them push us around like that. So we send Muzzin down to the ice pack and as we win the fight and get the energy buzzing for the boys. Here we go, guys. Period number three. And we are only now up, actually. We are up two here. We were able to get some, uh, uh, get a goal there at the end of the last period as we find Panarin back door. Dustin's there. Big opportunity that was right there to get the boys back up but unable to do so as we are back into our own zone. A dangerous play. Shesterkin able to make the save as we call for the puck. We're tripped on the play. And is there a delayed penalty? I don't know if there is. Trying to get around one, and Dustin is hit hard. Thankfully, we're back up on our feet. Morgan Riley works his way in. Shesterkin is going to play that puck. It was Jonathan Greenway. Really weird seeing him with the Maple Leafs as we almost had a nice little breakaway there. As we've got a chance here to break the puck out. Dustin. Panarin's not going to find us. But Zabinijad will. We'll buzz off of Muzzin there. We're going to go. Ooh, man. Short side, glove side high and saved by the goalie there. Got a 5-on-3 power play here with 3.06 left to go in this game. And this could solidify the game here guys if we can find a way to get this into the back of the net out there with our first line usual first line and capo caco is also out on the point i'm assuming are you kidding me are you actually kidding me are you we're on the five on three power play we have a clean hit and kevin miller decides to drop the mitts with dustin are you actually kidding me 
At this point, I am tired of fighting the rest of this season, guys. I am turning off fighting for Dustin. We, we're not going to drop the mitts ever again this season. That is absolutely insane. So that's going to be the rest of the game, guys. We'll get into the simulation here and see how we do in the next couple of games. So here is the simulated games, guys. We went... 2-1 and one in that simulation with a win over the Penguins and St. Louis Blues in the shootout uh, where we actually lost to the Bruins who are also up there in points 6-5. Uh, to five. So we head up against Philly here, a lesser opponent, and we definitely need a big win here for two big points. So let's hope we can sort of get on the score sheet in this next game and come away with another two points. Here we are, guys, away from home against the always tough Philadelphia Flyers. Definitely want to come away. With two points in this game and hopefully some personal stats sort of a little bit better than our last performance as during that simulation, I believe we only had one point in th three games. So definitely need to sort of pick it up here as the Flyers with a chance there early. Dustin off to the races here. Oh, we're able to get around one, but Provorov able to get that little knock in on us. Dustin, big hit there. We find the man in front. Big save from the goaltender. As Dustin, we're tied up on the wall. Got to find a way to win that puck back, but unable to actually do so. And we are back on the defensive here on the back check. Here we are. Petrangelo, nice step there. We're going to come in there, win the puck, throw that around to Truba. We're going to find that up to Zabinijad, who gets railed on the play, but we pick it up. Goss just spares over. We're going to buzz off him. Cut to the middle. Dustin's there with a the shot. That was a decent opportunity on the play as Zabinijad with it. Dustin with a chance. There it is. And Zabinijad able to tip that puck into the net after we got the shot on target. And that is a big time goal in our first shift for his 26th of the season. We should be picking up the apple on that as we got a nice feed there from Truba. Cut into the high slot off the goaltender's shoulder and Zabinijad is there to basically tap that into the back of the net. As Kreider goes in and hits the goalie there on the celebration. There it is again. Off the shoulders of Benajad into the back of the net for the 1-0 lead here in Philly. With another solid shift here as our defense is playing pretty stout here in today's game. As Dustin into the zone. We're going to try and get around one. We're tripped on the play. And we will head to the power play here as we will end off this period. With a chance up a man here to get another goal. Minute 30 left to go. In the period is Dustin. We're going to come across the middle. We're going to shoot that far back across. There it is in front. Oh, they're calling no goal on the play. I don't know why. We waited there till we had our angle. Puck was there. I don't see where the interference could be, honestly. I, I, I feel like that that's a clean goal. Zabinijad again on the doorstep. Are you kidding me? It's a scramble in front. In real hockey, that's a goal all day. They're calling that no goal. That is crazy. And I turned off our fighting so we don't have to answer for that check on the play. Dustin calls for it. Dustin, we're going to cut back here on Provorov. We're going to go short side. And Dustin goes barred down here on the power play. Holy smokes, what a goal that was, guys. On uh I thought I don't know if that's Hutchinson. I don't know who's in between the pipes, but we got our 45th goal of the season. Give McDangle the colder. I completely agree. We've had a crazy good season. Rico uh, out of the box there for the Flyers. He was the one who actually tripped us up, but Dustin able to go bar south there on the goalie. Purovrov unable to hang with us there on the, the classic Dustin stop and go. And there it is, guys. Up to here in Philly. Can we get the puck back? We cannot. And the Flyers ice it down only as far as D'Angelo. Panarin into the zone. He finds Dustin. Ooh, we were trying to get the goalie cutting across there. Dustin with it. Dustin going to go short side there. We're able to sneak it through. I don't know how that went through. We were just trying to get a shot short side on target for a possible rebound. I saw Zabenejad going below the goal line there for a possible sort of little tap-in. But we were able to just throw that on target and somehow it is able to find its way into the back of the net for the power play goal. Here it is again. 
Just throw that on target. Goes under his armpit, it looks like, and into the back of the net. I don't know if he was screened by one of his defenders. Let's get another look at this. Not a very good angle. It doesn't look like he was screened too bad, but again, off the shoulder, through the armpit, and trickles below the goal line for our second goal of the game. Part of the third period, though, guys. 3-1 now. D'Angelo and Petrangelo on the assists. Had some nice puck movement there on that power play. I don't even know who we just destroyed there on the play. And there are the Flyers right back at us for the backdoor cheese. I didn't mean to skip that there. Um, man, that sucks. Able to tie the game there. Or not tie the game. They're down by one now off of a backdoor cheese play. Dustin, see if we can get that hat trick here. Going to buzz off the one defender. We're going to go short side. And there it is, guys. We get the hat trick right back. We get the goal right back, and we are back with a two-goal lead here, guys. That's how you respond when you give up a goal. Get the nice little dust and spin off. Goalie wasn't really screened, and we hit the corner post and in, boys. Absolute nip of a shot from Dustin on the play. Absolutely dust the defender in the corner. Use our speed to get to the middle, and that shot speaks for itself. Goalie got a piece of it, it looks like, but not enough as that's off the post and into the back of the net for our hat trick. Coach is still leaving us out on the ice here for the start of this third period. And we've been on the ice here for three goals, two, four, one against as we tried to go through there. We just can't give up another goal here. As coach is actually calling for the change, we'll go for the change now. As we don't even get a chance on the power play, we are going to get some time here at the end of the game to possibly get one more point on the day. Dustin, nice little spinorama. What a play! And Zabinijad blows it. Dustin, we're going to take a rip on target. That was a little delayed as there's another penalty on the play, guys. And that's actually going to be the game, guys, a 5-2 victory off of the back of Dustin's hard work. So we'll go to the team standings, team stats, and then we'll close out this video for today, guys. So we got some skill tree points and everything here that we can definitely add. Obviously, we could use some shot power. I kind of want to bring up our wrist shot power a little bit there. So that's going to use up those two points. But let's go ahead over to our specialties. We actually have a lot of specialties we could possibly purchase here. So um, I kind of like that power on the power play. Um, final minutes of the third period. I'm not really too sure um what we should really add for dustin here so i will definitely add that here while sort of the that we get into the next episode um and there's actually a conversation here with panarin which kind of sucks but again sort of dustin is doing really well here as we have a quick little talk um we'll just get the teammate like ability up here that's perfectly fine i'm <clears throat> i am okay with that but Again, the boys are buzzing here as we get close to the playoffs. Obviously, we should have a spot all sealed up for the playoffs as we will take a look here at the team standings for the division and the conference we're at. Sitting there nicely, we have clinched a playoff spot, and we are sitting first in the division right now, uh, tied with the Devils with one game in hand. Uh, so that is nice. Uh, always tough division, the Metropolitan. And we are way behind the Lightning. They have clinched the conference. Um, so unfortunate, we won't have home ice if we do make the conference finals. Uh, but right now, it's just a battle of trying to get as high as we can. We are one point behind the Bruins. And if we take a look at the entire league, we are sitting in fifth. So definitely want to get that up there um, to maybe be fourth. Uh, trying to be third in the league is definitely going to be tough. Uh, but let's take a look here at the... Team stats, obviously leading the way with points, goals, um, not assists though. Um, Petrangelo leads the team in assists, but we've got 87 points in 78 games. And if we take a look here at the entire league standing, let's, let's see where we rack up with points. And we are slipping a little bit here with a few games left to play, which we will finish the regular season in the next episode. So, Definitely at least want to try and hit the 50 goal mark. I feel like that would be actually really cool as we lead the league in goals right now, which is really cool. So 
Uh, again, definitely want to do our best to try and at least win the uh, Maurice Richard Trophy and the Calder. I don't know if the heart will happen. That's going to sort of come down to some luck. But again, Dustin is absolutely killing it. So if you guys did enjoy this episode, be sure to drop a like on it. I hope you guys have a good one. And as always, stay dusty.